Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're making soap. Uh, some of you guys may know that Jessica makes soap now on her web. She has a new thing now. She hasn't really like posted anywhere on her page or anything yet, her YouTube page, I mean. Uh, she has a website, it should be right here at the bottom, just naturalboutique.com. Uh, What's the name of the website? Just naturalboutique.com. That's the name of the website. What is it? Just Natural Bath Boutique. Just Natural Bath Boutique.com. Let me correct it. But, uh, yeah, so today we're making two male soaps, are we? Yeah. Two male I soaps. So understand. that's why I'm here uh, supervising. Hmm. I'm trying to try my hand at the soap thing. I'm not going to be doing it that much longer. I'm trying to get her to start recording more of her channel for it, so we're going to work on that. Uh, so we have everything pre-made. Uh, we didn't go, we didn't get too, you know, we're trying to get too detailed for you guys that are trying to learn. You gotta go to another channel for that. Uh, so we're, has, she has her oils mixed up. I'm gonna let her take it from here because I don't know what yeah. What's that? the rest is, what's going on here. So you wanna get this going? Yes. So basically handmade soap is the process of combining natural oils and butters with lye. There is no lye in the finished product. Lye is used uh, just to facilitate the chemical process of turning the oils into soap. So I already have my oils and butters in this bowl and now I'm going to pour in my lye solution. So please don't just think you can try this at home. Lye is very caustic and very dangerous, um, which is why we have on gloves. Larry should be wearing goggles, uh, long sleeves, just to prevent any mishaps from happening. But he's Superman or whoever he thinks he is. So uh, let's just get started. So I'm just filtering my lye uh, into my oils because I have some silk in here and I want it to catch any particles that have not fully dissolved. So just a couple in there. So I put that aside and I just mix that in. Um, you're going to need a stick blender if you're going to make soap. So I mix that in and now I'm going to stick blend just to a light trace and that just means um, a light thickness, okay? And you always want to mix from lightest color to darkest color. Oh, that's beautiful. Right, Sam. Uh, because I want mine to thicken up just a little bit. Todd, you're supposed to pour this and you're supposed to just go down. So you can spread it all even. Oh shit. Just pour fast in it. You don't have to do it that slow. Okay. Alright, so stop, pull back. Don't let it just spill over. Take your finger and and put it back in the bowl. And then you wanna um tap down your tap it harder to get in the red air bubble. Spray the container down. Pour the rest in there. You're doing a great job, Larry. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, okay. What? You're um, doing that in kind of a weird way. I'm gonna know what you're doing. No, I know that, but I mean, you look like you're a very uncomfortable position here. Okay, just scrape down the sides of the bowl. Tap it, no, 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 just put it, oh, oh, oh. Let me help you, dear. You're not, uh, you need to be in the kitchen a little more often to know how to get your batter out of the bowl. But that's a video for another day. Hmm. Perfect. Okay, Larry. Okay, Larry. So, so you're gonna pour that in an S motion. Try to leave some space in between. Just use your spout as a as a guide, and go up just a little bit higher. Well, that was a lot higher, but go ahead. Help it along a little bit. You want to make a nice S. I'm just going to pour it. Just go, just as move. You got to move with it. Let me, let me help you. It's let falling me help. down okay. a chunk. Okay, let me, let, me, let me help you. It's falling down a chunk. How are you going to do that? So Larry's batter thickened up on him, which sometimes happens. Actually, I want to start from the other way. This is a little hard angle to put this in, but. So we'll go with some black now. So it's not coming, the black is a lot more fluid. So we'll just go over it um, and then we'll, we'll swirl it. So I'm gonna come through it. Start exactly. So mine's just thickening up, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my container. Oh, shit. I think I'm too fast. Oh, wow. Hmm. Pick up set. Oh. Okay, no worries. Just go ahead and do your um, do your blue. No worries. I can knock it down? Yeah, go ahead and um, go ahead and slam it. Go ahead and mix your blue again. Actually, might go ahead and put another layer of blue. I might just make this a black soap in another mold because um, my might look, might have a little too much in there. So just get the blue to chop that black, but break that black up. So I just put it over the break block? the black up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just don't have time to help me anymore because mine is just sticking in. All right. Things don't go perfect in the soaping world. Temperature, fragrance, additives all play a role in how fluid it is. I haven't heard Larry breathe this hard except in the gym. All right, but we're still gonna do our design. Kind of, kind of maxed out on stuff. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, I pull the coat up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Then stop here, pull it straight up, then come down and go up and down, down, down that way. So I'm supposed to go sliding in like this, right? Yeah. And then go, go all the way up. Yes. All right. <laughs> Confidence. Yes. Don't try to scrape the container on the I'm bottom, not. but good, good flow. Good, 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 good. Put straight up like that. Uh -huh. Then come back. Uh -huh. And go up and down, like this way, right? Um, you're gonna go. I went this way. Oh shit! So now, what you wanna do is? That's what I was doing. That's what I was asking. And then go, go up. No, 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 no. And then come back down. And if you want to, you can go to the edge like that and then take it back down. Then that's then go straight down? Yeah, and then you can just come in if you want to round those edges out. Like this? Yeah, and then take it, make an L, come come back, uh-huh, to the right. Come this And take your soap over there. So. 
So you're just gonna do lines of mine. I didn't do that as best as I should have. But the whole length of the mold, like okay. lines. I'm about to get some white, so use this one. I'm about to. So guys, we're done, finally, because that took a lot longer than you, we actually thought. Uh, we have well, not longer than we thought. Generally, we don't do as intricate of a design as the wood grain is, because you have to lay each individual layer of soap side by side, and that particular soap had four different ones, as you saw. Um, so towards the end, the soap began to get a little thick, and uh i won't say if it was a fail i won't say that because one thing about soap you never know what's on the inside until you cut it so with that being said the top that you see now may be the bottom so we'll see once we cut into it um and as always nope. i don't believe in loss but learning this is a learning experience that means don't bring larry in to do soap when i'm doing your intricate design because time won't be on my side. <laughs> but, like I was saying, uh, this will get unmolded. More than likely, mine will get unmolded tomorrow. We'll see, wait for hers to get, see how that looks tomorrow in like 24 hours. So, or I may wait until hers, then we can do both together. I mean, that'll make more sense because we did both on the same thing. So, uh, we'll see you guys later in 24 hours. Hopefully, we'll have soap ready and cut for you guys. What's up everybody, so back today is 24 hours since we've uh, laid the mold for the soap that I made. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys, I believe it came out quite well. I mean, I don't think the blue went through as much as I would like to, but hey, it's my first time. Uh, Jessica finished her wood grain soap as well. We have that here. So. All in all, the process is pretty neat. You know, I, I somewhat enjoyed it, and it somewhat became tedious, so I know this is not one thing I will continue to do. But she does it, so I try to support her in much ways I can. So I'll be the media guy. Uh, we also have different things other than soaps. We actually have body polish, aka sugar scrubs for your bodies. We actually have two left, so these are actually selling quite fast. So. Get it while you can. We actually do special orders. If you guys actually need a special order, it'll be a little bit more, but we'll uh, contact us about that. Uh, she has more soaps here. Not exactly sure what all these are. Uh, favorite for the summer, watermelon, you know. Uh, but the rest of these will actually be on the site where you can purchase everything here. We're not keeping these for ourselves, we just make these. So you guys can purchase soap that I made, the one she made. These are actually men type soaps. I mean, a woman can buy them for their Father's Day is coming up, so you can buy it for your father, your baby daddy, your husband, whatever. Uh, what else am I missing? Oh yeah, for the guys uh, and everyone else, she's working on lotion as well. We're actually trying to get the recipe correct, so watch out for lotion coming soon. And actually for the guys, a beard balm, guys with facial hair that is. So I mean, wherever else you can put the balm at, by all means. But uh, we are working on that as well. So soap related things will be actually be on her channel from now. So this is actually be a transition to her channel. So go subscribe to her channel. We're going to try to get more soap related stuff, something she actually enjoys doing on her page. So you guys can follow her there. Also, again. The link in the description for the website will be below where you guys can purchase every last one of these soaps, get it out of the house, do what you can, send it to friends, send a link. Uh, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. So, like I always say at the end of my videos, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Make sure you read all the links in the description below. Buy something, get it out of here.